people normally underestimate me. And I think it's better than being overestimated because, you know, the pressure on you. But then people people get surprised. Oh, you're a girl and you're so tiny and you're, yet you're so good, you know, good and racing. <laughs> but then, of course, it makes me feel good sometimes. At first, I was thinking of, you know, other strategies like what position should I get so there's because of the reverse grade kind of thing. But then I thought, I just have to do my best and no matter what position, I just have to push hard because you don't know what's going to happen next. I'm about to and they're off. Let's see, let's get a wide view of that if we can as they come on to the first corner. They're all down the main street. There are five uh, cars abreast in some areas, four to five cars abreast. And we all know in basic math that that won't fit into turn number one. So will there be any dramas as they funnel through into turn number one coming down the corkscrew here into Clark International Speedway? Who's going to gain the advantage? Kind of hard for us to see here, Gab, with, uh, with, with our monitors. Hard to see the numbers of the cars, so I can't exactly see who's up there in first place maybe but if we get a zoom you know in. what i'm assuming and it's daryl garbs i know it was a reverse grid a while ago so he was starting in pole and it you know from what it seemed from the takeoff he had a very good takeoff clive Furman first and second had a very good takeoff and the rest was just side by side and in third place if we can get a little bit of a closer view that's car number 90 is it number 90, 90 is at least wow. you know she finished third a while ago and it, uh, sorry third yesterday and he is doing really good there actually are six female drivers in this promotional class which is amazing so elise is the uh, the newest driver for the avengers um she's also the first female driver for the avengers if i'm not mistaken or was um i i, I it, does my memory serve me correctly? Our first driver for the female yes. driver for the Avengers? I think so. Avengers, yes. of course, being the um, probably the most dominant team we've had here in, if you think about it, they've won already, uh, they've won the first round, uh, first championship. With yes, and especially last year, I mean, they were dominating when, well, last year was the first constructor, Constructors Championship, right? Yes, so Miranda. Yeah, they, they opened it up. And yeah, Daniel definitely dominated uh, the super sporting class, and a lot of them did really well. Um, Mark Sung got his podium last year. He got his character. Yeah. Oh, I think we had a little uh, pass over there on turn number one. I think we swap places in turn number one well, there for second okay. and third. Well, okay. So first, obviously, is Clive Furman, who's been dominating the race. Now, for second and third, that is Daryl Garbs and Elise. It okay. was. At Elise least was she... third. So if there was a swap, that would have been Elise that brings her to second. My, th this girl has a lot of potential. It's her first year this year. Well, let's and, you know, she's already that. dominating. No, 76, it's still Garbs. Okay, um, so it's still Garbs. But, you know, they're neck and neck between each other. So, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be fun. Apologies for this if it does sound a little vague. So we're, uh, once we get the official timing back, we'll be able to give you the exact uh, rundown of the, uh, of the drivers. But right now, we're just relying on visuals, on numbers. And uh, when it's zoomed out, of course, we, we won't be able to read the numbers there. But that is definitely Clive Furman in car number 50 that you see on your screens, followed by Daryl Garbs in car 76. And then number 90 is Elise Menorca from the Avengers. And as Gab has said, she has come out all guns blazing in this racetrack right now and um, in third place in her first race weekend for the race oh, yes. for the Avengers. This is really Definitely good. way to make your mark. But being side by side with other cars where everything is unexpected, you don't know how they'll react. And this isn't like Edsa where you're going straight or something. These people know how to get within a millimeter beside you and that can get scary. What's, what's the difference about that in Edsa? <laughs> The jeepneys are getting a lot closer in the millimeter. Sometimes they just get, you know. Well, that is true. That is right true. Right alongside, scrape uh -huh. you and everything. A bit, a bit of practice and then uh, pre-practice before the race. But yeah, you know, heat conditions like this could really get someone. Absolutely. We saw um, who I um, one of our races last year, celebrity races as well. She she also had a really hard time. Also, Ella, Ella Cruz. Ella I Cruz. Believe. That's yes. right. And. Um, broke down in tears because it just it, it can be so physically and mentally exhausting yeah hers was a slightly different situation she had a bad accident or like a bad spin which really cost her the race and it was just very very frustrating for her and scary yeah also scary there the was one, this one year where she All came right. out dehydrated and 
second, we just have to say that Elise has finally overtook and she is lands, her, lands a spot in number two. Congratulations, Elise. And I'm assuming this is near the tail end of the race. We have 12 laps, I believe, right? We have 12 laps. We have 12 and laps. And it looks like a battle been, brewing there as well down the corkscrew. Yep. It might be the last few laps. We do not exactly know until we have our stats. But, you know, people seem to be a lot more aggressive now, which means it's nearing the checkered flag, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Clive Furman in the lead of this race. Behind him is car number 90. That is uh, Elise in second place menorca from the avengers oh my oh, gosh she looks like she's, she's mounting a yeah, challenge she, she definitely this, is mounting a challenge and it's do or die now because it's the last few uh, dying breaths of the race so if she's going to make a move let's do it now and make it stick and if she wins Ooh. this race they will be partying at the avengers i tell you what you know and what a weekend because it is the opening of the avengers uh, the biggest oh, wow. box office success in philippine oh, movie yes, history i haven't seen it everyone was like okay are i'll you tell you what happens okay i'm gonna hey, tell you exactly hey, hey, what happens okay and guys are gonna are... tell the rest of the world <laughs> yeah i think people... this gap, just... we've got we've got at least side by side with clive inside. Furman. she's on the inside she's okay. gonna do this oh wow okay Go. let us see oh. if he gives in because this is a lot of like back and forth but he's okay. got the inside line here but if oh. she can get the inside line he says the last if... few curves oh god this turns into the corkscrew let's let's see it gets a bit tricky over here <laughs> there's not a lot of passing room when you get to the corkscrew this is where it's going but, to be a, it's like a really tight s over man, here and if he overshoots on entry of the double a that uh, you know she could have an opening over there come on but let us see Woo! we don't want to show this any bias for exciting. anyone here but we just we're biased towards a good race that's what we're <laughs> very very definitely openly biased to okay. and uh, it doesn't well, really it looks like clive uh, clive has kept to... his space yes yes Okay, we're nearing the last turn. Let's see if the checkered flag is Ooh. out or not, because if not, then he's got to go through this all over again. Okay, and, and checkered the flag. checkered flag. Wow. Congratulations. What a good race. Definitely near the tail end. Congratulations to Elise. Congratulations to Clive Furman and for Darryl dominating Garbs, the race. Of course, as well and Daryl Garbs bagging third. Nice, clean race, guys. And a big thank you goes to Elise for giving us a real show towards the <laughs> end there. In, in, uh, it was one of those races, Gab, that you would call pretty straightforward, wouldn't you? Uh, I definitely, mean, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, but look at this. This is where it all happened. She jumped on the inside had this just bit but clive was very clever about this whole thing clive you know, kept his position i have to say it also to daryl garbs he was right there just that small opening and he would have like dove in through too that's normally where you it would cost you you go for first and then you end up in third yeah usually those three-way battles look you just that. look at the person behind you or the person Beautiful. in front you don't realize that someone's way at the back just waiting you guys waiting for you guys to dice it out and yeah and this is where it's uh, clive gets quite clever is because you don't panic because you have to think three or four corners ahead yes uh, elise did overtake him technically but he knew that in a couple of corners up he would have the inside line so all he had to do was just be there side by side with her um it was all about who gets the inside or ad advantage line towards the last curve and that's towards the last curve and that was a curve that 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 was a sweeper so it was pretty hard i, I mean if you stayed out over there you definitely would have lost a lot of exactly time. so had he panicked over there and tried to defend at all costs it probably would have cost him the race but in the end um, showing a little bit of experience there, but thank you, Elise, for putting on a show for us. That gave us something to really, really get excited oh, about. Oh, yes, It definitely. was very close. Much appreciated. And I give you the rundown. At first is Clive Furman. Second is Elise Menorca. Third is Daryl Garbs. At fourth is JJ Barrero. And fifth, Bobby Pangilinan. Congratulations to our top five. The battle for the podium among those in the promotional class was just as exciting. JJ Barredo of Team Pro Parts started out on pole but was overtaken at the first corner by Clive Furman, 51 year old and only his fourth Bios Cup race. Later on in the race, Barredo was overtaken by perhaps the revelation of the Bios Cup this year, first time racer 23 year old Ellis Menorca. At the end of the race, it was Furman winning the heat, Ellis in second, and JJ in third. Yes, I'm 51 oh, yeah. years old. And, uh, you know, when you're 51, when you're 40, 
your stamina, your <laughs> strength is not the same as... I don't know, how old, how old are, are you? 23. 23. Oh. <laughs> so it's the, that's the yeah. challenge. Oh, yeah. The heat gets to you. You have to be physically fit to be able to, to last 12, 12 laps and intense. If you saw the, the last lap, it was really, really intense with this girl. She's really quick. But the racing, I think, was very, very, very clean. Especially That's how it's done, with respect and dignity, you know, the shoes. Apart from it being hot, it's uh, really intense. Like, we were close, especially with, with them. And it was really exciting. It's really fun. So everybody should try it. <laughs>